Marlon, what's the uh, the challenge of preparing for a team where, in theory, you could conceivably see three different quarterbacks, four or five different running backs? Is, is it more just prepping for scheme as opposed to, to players? Um, the key to that is just, I guess, just get watch as much film as you can. Um, we know they, they had those three quarterbacks, and they all kind of specialize in something individually. So you're not really sure who you're going to get, but um, you know they're going to run their offense at the end of the day. So it doesn't really matter who's running it. It's just how do we prepare for it, and how do we recognize what's going on? Uh, does the iron ball have more significance for you? You're watching your dad play here, and and got to talk about that, uh, memories, I guess. Um, it definitely does. Um, it definitely makes a lot bigger difference being from the state. Um, just growing up, every year you watch the game and you see people around you just get affected by it. If they're Alabama fan and they lose or Auburn fan and they lose, you, just, you can just see people just, just the hate and the, all of that. It's, it's, it's pretty special and uh, it's one of the biggest things I like about why I wanted to come to Alabama. Did your dad uh, always show you highlights of him playing his, you know, say, hey, take it with me, son? Uh, Come on. Yeah, he, he, he uh, mainly my mom, really. Um, my dad didn't really show too much, but um, when he did show me some clips, he'd tell me a lot of stories and things like that. But um, yeah, he's, he's definitely he's definitely told me some good stories about it. He was pretty good. Yeah, he was, yeah he, was, he was pretty good. He was pretty good, for sure. How much does the, uh, the intensity from the, the fan base lead onto the field for you guys? Um, I don't know how much it bleeds onto the field. I just know I, I, I want to win this game just as so much for the team as I do for the fans. I know um, this is a big game for us, but also a big game for the fans. So winning this is a, a big deal. Being a local guy, do you ever hear you talk to this year, maybe in years past, just maybe some friends you grew up with on both sides? Just um, Yeah, they always, uh, I was talking to one of my friends the other day, it was like, you can't lose to Auburn. You can't lose to Auburn, all that. So. Um, that's really all everybody seems to talk about this week, um, beating Auburn. So I know it's a really, it's, it's really a fun game for people watching. Do you feel like some of the guys on the team who aren't from Alabama don't appreciate this rivalry? Uh, I think they do. Um, Coach TJ was was telling everybody in the weight room that some of you freshmen won't really understand how big it is, and I don't think they will until we really we play the game. And you can just once you give them a feel, you can kind of just feel it. Um, you can just feel the intensity between everybody and how the play goes on. So uh, they might not realize now, but I think they will come Saturday. How do you, when you say you feel that energy, how do you kind of still get the right mindset to play the game and play it the right way with the same? Um, you you got to take the energy and use it kind of in a positive way. You can't let it really distract you. You got to take that and use it like, I want to play my best game in this game. Um, so I think you just got to, you can't really let it affect you too much, you got to turn it into positive energy. Throughout the season, uh, Saban's brought back some alums on Trent Richardson and John Parker. What are they like in practice, and are you guys allowed to hit them defensively? Um, yeah, uh, I think um, that, that was pretty special. Um, seeing Trent, tackling Trent, he's, he's a hard guy to tackle. And um, I just thought it was pretty cool, you know, because They've been on both ends, probably the early years they were on the scout team, then as they got older, you know, they were on the like good on good field and then they're back on the on the scout team just trying to help us out. So I thought it was pretty cool to be able to tackle Trent Richardson and intercept uh, John Parker Wilson. So uh, I thought it was I thought it was pretty cool. Trent still got it? Trent uh, he's he's running pretty hard to me, um so I I guess he does. Is that a is that a good way to prep for a guy like Cam Petway? Yeah, it definitely is a good way to prep. Uh Petway is pretty big. It's very big, and uh, I know he's going to run hard. So um, having a guy like Trent Richardson is, is definitely uh, positive for us. One more. I know you guys have had uh, players on meetings at other points in the season when, when you weren't necessarily happy with the performance. What were you guys saying in the locker room to each other after Saturday? Um, I don't, some people weren't that happy after the game. Um, I feel like we kind of should have beat Chattanooga with a little bit more ease. Um, but. You know, we that was in the past, those 24 hours are gone. So um, now we just got to turn our prep towards Auburn. So uh, when we walk up the field this Saturday, we'll be uh, heads held high. Now we'll be uh, ready to get after it.